Hello again from Metro Manila, the Philippines, Southeastern Asia. Here is my summary of the latest news headlines on the Toronto Star newspaper's website, at least uh, partly for November the 20th, 2018. As always, I declare at the outset of this news video that I do not intend to infringe on any copyrights with it. Cannabis. Vigilance, the watchword for pot users, investors, executives at Canada-US border. Builders blame Ontario's growth plan for rising home prices. Greater Toronto Area Toronto has alarming lack of transit funding compared to other cities, report finds. Star investigations after a fighter pilot was charged with drunk driving, Air Force commander wondered if incident was part of a bigger problem. Star exclusive, Ministry of Health not consulted about health impacts of removing paid six day, sick days, advocates told. Greater Toronto Area Childcare called key to ending child poverty. Canada, Canadian spending on healthcare expected to rise by 4.2% over last year, report says. Canada, Kingston police say one person injured after shots fired inside hospital. Alberta, First Nations consider questions of profit and sovereignty at First National Indigenous Cannabis Conference. The Greater Toronto Area, Oshawa man killed in Ajax crash, the driver faces impaired charges. Canada, Nova Scotia advocates to tell UN Committee of Women's Non-State Torture in Canada. Then police looking for a suspect after needles found in Regina McDonald's washroom. Uh, Canada, Canada's Auditor General takes aim at Liberal's fighter jet plan with new probe. Canada federal government averts deportation for a vocal Putin critic who feared return to Russia. Canada, the Queen is in good company. New $10 bill, meaning 10 Canadian dollar bill, with civil rights advocate Viola Desmond launched. Canada, more than 50,000 Quebec students to strike seeing, seeking pay for internships. Canada, Dennis Oland's retrial in father's murder set to resume after unexpected delay.